ionic formulas. If we take the compound sodium chloride, the first thing we're going to do is isolate the sodium and chlorine ions. Sodium is a plus one ion, chloride is a negative one ion. Because their charges are equal and opposite, positive one for the sodium, negative one for the chloride, they will go together equally. We do not have to adjust any subscripts to balance out the charges. So sodium, and chloride join together to form the molecule sodium chloride, NaCl. In the case of magnesium fluoride, we find that the ion is magnesium with a plus two charge and fluoride has a negative one charge. Because their charges are not equal, although they are opposite, we do need to adjust their subscripts. Therefore, we need a second fluoride. In doing this, we now have plus two for the magnesium and two negative ones for a negative two charge for the fluoride. So therefore, magnesium will join fluoride to create the molecule magnesium fluoride, MgF2. When we look at the compound iron oxide, using stock naming, we use the three Roman numerals to represent which ion iron will be. In this case, iron three has a positive three charge. The oxide has a negative two charge. We do not have enough negatives to balance out the positive three. So we will add a second oxide atom. That now gives us a charge of negative four. So now we need an additional positive. Therefore, iron is now plus six. And we add a third oxide to make negative six. Now in this case, iron and oxide join together in a ratio of two to three to make the molecule iron oxide, Fe2O3. Our last example is calcium hydroxide. Calcium has a plus two charge and hydroxide has a negative one charge. In this case, we need an additional hydroxide so that the positive two can be balanced out by the two negative ones. In this case, calcium and the hydroxide molecules join together in the molecule Ca parentheses OH2. We need the parentheses because we don't need two hydrogens, but we need two hydroxides. So the entire unit OH is raised to two. Ionic naming.